Virtue also writes, to me, the definitive personification of Batman has yet to be created on the big screen. Michael Keaton was the embodiment of the mental side, keeping the pain inside, staying in the shadows, and not making philosophical speeches in broad daylight. And Christian <laughs> Bale, as much as I adore him as an actor, was more the physical side of the character. Now that team Snyder Affleck will be overseeing Batman for the next decade, do you think that there will be place to create the ultimate Batman, which is the world's greatest detective? Tall, fearless, strategic, strategic, physical, gadget-powered monster at night, and the Bruce Wayne multiple personas during the day. Or will we have to wait for the standalone movies to give us once and for all the Batman that we deserve? Yeah, this is a really good question because like you're right. The different incarnations we've seen of Batman on the big screen have all had their own kind of identity. And as much as I, I really like the Dark Knight trilogy, I, you know, I, I have issues with the third one. That's fine, but you know, I really love the first two, and I like the third one. As great as those were, the Batman that Christopher Nolan give, gave us, I, I think most Batman fans would agree, was not the definitive Batman. I mean, he really wasn't the detective, as Rajal Ghul uh, often calls, just calls him detective. You know, we didn't see that part of it. I believe the opportunity is there right now for Snyder and Affleck, whatever, to give us that definitive, to give us that ultimate Batman, to give us the most brilliant detective. You know, we were talking before about him that I, I think when we get a Man of Steel 2, It'd be great if we saw flashbacks to the events of Man of Steel 1 and see that Bruce Wayne was actually present for a lot of that and figured out who Clark Kent really was before Lois did, before any of that. To give us those types of things, that he is that dark knight, that he is the most brilliant detective, that he is the most physically dominating human being on the face of the earth. I think we have the potential here to give us all of that and more. So, now, will it work? Uh, that's 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 the five billion dollar question. Will it work? We're gonna have to wait and see. We we can't really know. I suspect it will, but uh, we'll have to wait and see. It might be an utter disaster at the same time. Dennis, do you think the potential is there for us to get the definitive Batman there, or do you think it'll be better for them to focus on one of those characteristics of him? I think it's better if they just focus on fitting uh, the character of Batman into the universe that they've created, the story that they've created, and not to try and pigeonhole him into what they think the fans want and I think the, the question is a little troublesome because then you get into this area where it's like well you think this about Michael Keaton's Batman you think this of Chris Nolan's Batman but then some people don't agree with you and then maybe whatever they come up with you may think is the definitive Batman in, in this new one but other people are like no 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 that's not it so yeah, I think true. it's 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 a really hard thing to do I think the best thing to do is to serve the movie. Schnepp? Well, I think, I mean, the question saying, is this is this new uh, Snyder Affleck movie going to serve that version of his Batman, which is more so the comic book Batman, right. what he's describing. And I think it is. I mean, Affleck is the biggest Batman fan. A lot of people forget that he took on Daredevil because he was like, I'll never get to play Batman, so this is the closest I'll get. He, a lot the of dude people, built a, a bat, bat cave, cave. Yeah. in his house. In his house, he has a like bat cave. Ten years ago, yeah. he physically built a bat cave. So he's a sweaty Batman <laughs> fan. He's like, I have all the issues. He's like probably a bigger Batman fan than Nicolas Cage was a Superman fan. And Nicolas Cage named his son Jarrell. So you know Ben Affleck's all sweaty and working out <laughs> and reading. And he's like, he's going to be a detective first, you know. So to, I think to answer your question, you're going to get your comic book Batman with Ben Affleck. So. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to AMC Movie News on YouTube. It's free and a great way to stay updated with all the latest movie news and check out our daily show, AMC Movie Talk. Also, don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Twitter to stay in the loop for our special prizes, giveaways, and contests.